Yo, what is going on guys? Bruin Steel here and welcome back to another WWE broadcast. I'm your host Bruin Steel and today I am recapping the Monday Night Raw that took place October 21st and it took place in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And before we start, just want to let you guys know that uh, my friend Canadian Yorker will not be making it today with me. Um, like I said in my last broadcast actually, uh, my friend Canadian Yorker is super busy this week as well. I'm pretty busy myself as well, so um, I'm not sure when the next time uh, Canadian Yorker is going to join me. So let's get started, and it is the road to the Crown Jewel pay-per-view, which I believe is, let me take a look guys, November 2nd. So it's next Saturday, um, so time flies pretty quick, so... Um, so yeah, let's get started with this Monday Night Raw. Um, so to start off the show, we see Bronson Reed walking alone and Seth Rollins blindsides him and lays him out. Um, Rollins makes his way to the arena and gets on the mic. He tells Bronson if he wants to be famous, he'll make his ass famous and he wants to fight right now. And Adam Pearce comes out with security and referees and bro agents to stop any fight from breaking out. But Reed is right behind him and Seth ends up diving on him. Bronson lays him out and goes up top. But Rollins rolls to the floor and Reed batters him with a diving shoulder block. Um, and basically, uh, Bronson Reed tried to hit a tsunami onto Seth Rollins for the announce table. But Seth Rollins moved out of way ending the segment. So, um, really intense moment between Bronson Reed and uh, Seth Rollins. Um, they fought a couple of times. Um, later on in the show, and they, it's official, guys. Adam Pearce booked Seth Rollins versus Bronson Reed at Crown Jewel, which is going to be a phenomenal match, man. I can't wait for it. But anyways, let's get back to it. So um, to start off with the first match of the Monday Night Raw, we got Authors of Pain. It came in Rizar versus New Day, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. Um, this is a World Tag Team Championship number one contenders qualifying match. And yes, so let's get started with this. Um, this was a great match. You know, obviously, you know, the history with Author of Pain and the Final Testament. You know, Karen Cross trying to mess with Xavier Woods' head. Um, I actually thought Xavier was going to turn heel here, but apparently not. I'm just curious because I keep saying, oh, Xavier Woods is going to turn heel. But when is that going to be, man? Um, but anyways, um, the New Day using their speed and tag team expertise to get an advantage, keeping a come off balance with double teams. The Miz comes to ringside as the tie turns and the author gets the advantage on the floor. Uh, Woods is trapped in a bear hug as Kara Cross and Scarlet chat with Ring at ringside. Um, so by the looks of it, it looks like Miz is part of the uh, final testament. Um, X with the escape and boot up, floating out of a slam, reaching for the tag. Uh, rolling through, tag made, Kingston lighting the arses of with shots, black flip, out of a suplex, shadows of over hell, Woods dive to, onto the other one, um, um, Kofi up top, diving, brain chop, off of the top rope, boom drop, back row, fired up, trouble in paradise countered, Razair lands a fall away slam, R-Truth is here, R-Truth running interference with a loose twist press onto, and mouth punches on the A-lister, um, Cross intervenes, Kingston capitalized with a folding press, Kofi Kingston with a folding press on Rizar, uh, New Day defeats um, the Final Testament Arthur of a Pain by pitfall thanks to R-Truth's interference, post-match Final Testament attack R-Truth, Kofi wants to make the save but Xavier holds him back saying he's not their guy, and the Wyatt Six! The Wyatt Six are here, Recky Shop on the Final Testament. They powerbomb Dexter Loomis into the off their pains. Miz, scared to death, hides in the ring, but Uncle Howdy's on him. Paul Ellery saves the Miz for some reason and gets taken with the Mandible Cult Claw. So I actually called this. I said, oh, um, because Miz turned on our truth the Final Testament, I mean, excuse me, the Wyatt Six could just be going after um, the Miz. And it looks like the Miz is part of the... Final Testament, but we have to see what happens. Um, so, yeah. So, um, moving on to the second match. We got Damage Control. Eos Sky and Kari Sane 
versus Judgment Day, Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez. So, um, Liv and Raquel, well, technically it was Kyrie Sane and Io Sky challenging Liv Morgan and Raquel to a tag team match. Um, Raquel Rodriguez and Io Sky to start. And, you know, if you guys haven't checked it out, I streamed this Monday Night Raw, but my internet dropped. But I did say in the stream that um, this is like the type of matches, the dream matches people wanted to see, like Liv Morgan versus EO Sky, Raquel versus EO, like Kari versus, it's, it's dream matches, man. Um, but Raquel and Sky to start back and forth, line tag from Sane, tripping Raquel up and blasting her with a stereo drop kicks. Uh, quick tags, working her over, tie turns, and Liv tickles the crown, um, jewel title for some reason. Um, and then Raquel in control. Wrenching Saint over her top shoulder. Kareem blasts her with elbow, reaching for the tag. She gets thrown off and popped one in the mush. Uh, Saint rolls under, tags to Sky, drop kicks on Morgan, also legal, whip reverse, flip out, snaps lip neck over the ropes, catch a boot from Raquel into a dragon screw. Um, it went back and forth. Um, Sky baits meta four, so the meta four was um, at ringside out of the front rung, and um, Lash. Uh, blast her in a mush. So, Demi Control defeats um, Liv and Raquel by disqualification. Um, Judgment Day and Meta 4 squares off as Rhea Ripley music hits. Rhea Ripley gets hands on Morgan, laying her out with a knee. Prison trap applied in the middle of the ring. Rhea breaks it to drop kick Raquel off the apron and turns to stalk after Liv. Liv Morgan ducks her. Cobra twisted block. Big head butt from Rhea. Up for Riptide, but Dominic Mysterio appears to save. Liv, Rhea, Hip tosses him into the ring and puts the prison trap on Dom too. Liv makes a save and the Judgment Day retreats as Rhea Ripley bites the top rope. Um, so this is interesting because I want to see, um, you know, this is just like, I don't know what I can say about Raquel Rodriguez being a great bodyguard so far. I mean, like, Rhea Ripley um, stands tall in this one. And, you know, the question is, if Rhea Ripley... Um, needs help, who can she go towards, who can she turn to? That's just my question is, so I, I'm not, I'm not quite sure, um, you know, what that is, so, but anyways, moving on, you see, in the Judgment Day's clubhouse, Raquel Rodriguez is losing his mind, but Liv pulls her into a focus onto the Crown Jewel Championship, Finn Balor said that he and JD McDonough can handle any tag team around, but what he's worried about is Damian Priest going for the world title again. Um, Dominic Mysterio says that he should go after a title, and that's when Carlito laughs, and Carlito goes to find Adam Pearce and gets Dom, um, Dominic Mysterio and Goon Surge. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, yeah, if that happens, have, say goodbye to your, um, chest, Dom. Remember what happened last time? Alright, so, moving on, we got another WWE World Tag Team Championship number one contenders qualifying match. We got American Maid, Brutus and Julius Creed versus Latino World Order of Dragon Lee and Rey Mysterio with Selena Vega at ringside. Um, Lee and Julius to start fighting over a knuckle lock. Um, Lagaf throw rot into a back elbow, dragging off the rope, dragging off of the top rope, duck a lateral, rolling subset flip only two. Ramming and Creed into the corner, tags to Mysterio, double wick, kit combo, cover for two, Brutus tags in, hard whip puts... Right into a turnbuckle when he fired up. Mysterio with a victory roll to set Creed to the floor. <coughs> Excuse me. Dragon dives. Lee punching away on Julius. Back body drops, cuts him off. Side headlock, wrenching in. Clubbing away, Matilda. Excuse me. <coughs> Dragon reverse to a Frankensteiner into the corner. Tag to Ray. Kick combo staggers Brutus off of the top rope with a seated senton. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <coughs> sorry.
Sorry about that, guys. Oh my god, I had the hiccups. Um, but anyways, um, Dragon reverses into a Frank Steiner. Sorry, so sorry about that. <clears throat> Dragon reversed to a Frankensteiner into the corner, tagged to Ray. Um, Brutus off of the top rope with a seated senton. Tilt a row, DDD connects. Ray Mysterio with a shotgun drop. Gable gets up on the apron when um, Ray Mysterio was trying to get a 619. Um, and then um, Selena Vega whops Chad with her sandal and drops Ivy Nayo. Frankensteiner puts Julius in the rope. 619 connects. Tag to Lee off of the top rope. LWO defeats American May to move on in this tournament by Pitfall. Um, so LWO with a big win, actually. So that's crazy. Um, LWO with a huge win with a frog splash fro off of um, from Dragon Lee on Julius Creed. Um, so that's just that. So I wouldn't mind, actually, seeing LWO feud with the American Maid. So um, that'd be awesome to see. Um, so yeah, so... Moving on, we see Adam Pearce meet with Damage Control and promise he was going to make up for Meta Force interference. Um, Carlito rolls up and pitched Dominic versus Gunther, which Adam busted a gut last thing. Um, so Adam actually announced that if Dom can be a former champion, I'm interested to see who that will be. He'll give him a shot. Um, I could see Seth, if, I don't know who could be the former champion, maybe Damon Priest. Uh, but we have to see what happens. Um... Moving on to the main event, we got Braun Breaker versus main event Jay Uso for the IC title. Um, so main event, um, it's, it, it's really weird that Raw is three hour, uh, two hours. Um, but you know, I wish there was more matches. But trading punches, Uso backs him up into the corner, whip reverse up in order, hard right hand clothesline sends Breaker over the ropes and to the floor as we as they go to break. Braun choking him in the ropes, working him over at some lens, kick from the apron. Jay goes up top. Breaker meets an avalanche Frankensteiner for a near fall. Um, Jay takes him down and lands a spear. Nope. Jay's eyes is caught by something, and the camera moves to show us um, Sokola Sokola and Samoan Wolf. Jacob Fatu in the crowd. Uh, Sokola Sokola are brandishing the tickets they bought to literally come to the show. Uso to the floor, confronting his younger brother, who said he's trying to help Jay win the belt. Um, Braun tries to blindside him. Uso is a step ahead of him. Back inside, and Breaker close clobbers him with a right hand before throwing him out to the floor like a sack of potatoes. Calling his shot, but Jay reverses, and Braun goes hard into the post. Tonga Lola appears in the crowd to give Jay a pep cop, but Uso blasts him with a super kick. Tama Tonga dives over the barricade and eats a super kick as well. Solo and Jay argues. Braun around the way. Uso ducks, and Solo Sokola eats a spear. Um, Fatu squares off with Breaker face to face. This is a matchup I love to see. Jacob Fatu versus Breaker. Oh my god. Face to face. Uso dives on both of them with a crossbody. Back inside. Diving splash. The knees are up. Braun off of the top. Head of the steam. J Jay leapfrog. Super kick to next. A second kick off the rope with a spear. U Uso off the top. Breaker kicks out the diving splash. Oh my god. I was like, damn. Adam Pearce arrived with road agents and referees to inject the Gorillas of Destiny. Uso wears stalking around. He runs right into a super kick from the Samoan werewolf. Samoan drops to the death. Referee Chad is busy looking elsewhere and Braun capitalized. So Braun with a spear and defeating Jay Uso to become your new Intercontinental Champion. I just. I, I was shocked when I saw this. It was just crazy. I mean, look, it's. I just feel bad because Jey Uso literally just won the championship and now he dropped it. 28 days, guys. 28 days, and that was his first singles title. But, you know, after thinking about it while, well, I kind of understand what the storyline's doing. I mean, this is just a setup for Jey Uso to help Roman and Jimmy over at SmackDown. This is just sets up the Bloodline Civil War, um, leaving it to Survivor Series, guys. It makes perfect sense, but... Man, I, I wasn't like, I mean, I, I kind of, I called it too. I said the bloodline's probably going to show up to screw um, Jey Uso. And that's exactly what happened. Um, but I did say that Roman and Jimmy was going to show up, but apparently not. Um, because I think that Roman still has major issues with Jay, And they just decided, fuck it, we're not going to help him. But I mean... I don't know. It's just like it's horrible, horrible way for 
um, Jay Uso to go out. It's kind of so basically what Braun Breaker did to Jay. It's kind of like what Braun Breaker did to Sammy, losing to Sammy and then beating Sammy, and now we got Jay beating Braun and then Braun beating Jay. Um, so it just it was it was hor it was a devastating way to lose the title. But I understand where the storyline is going. I understand why they had to do it. Literally, guys, it's literally the storyline. It's just gonna set up Jay um feuding with the bloodline again. It's just gonna be Jay finally gonna look into the light and go over to SmackDown and help Roman and Jimmy. That's basically why he dropped the title. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. I mean, what's the point of having the title if he's going to be alongside Roman and Jimmy while they face Solo in the new bloodline? Like, I can definitely see um, the bloodline lose their titles. I can't. I don't know what the case is with the titles on um, Tama, La, Tama Lola and Tama Tonga. I mean, they could actually take. They can actually keep the titles, and then that you can have Tama. You can have Tama Tonga and Tama uh, Tonga Lola against Jey Uso and Jimmy Uso in a tag team match for the tag team titles. That'd be a match I'd like to see. Um, but we have to see what happens. But Braun Breaker is your new Intercontinental Champion. Um, it is what it is, guys. It was heartbreaking. Um, but that's just what it is. Um, but that would do it, guys. Um, in terms of grading of this show, I give this a B minus. It was okay. Um, but I don't know. I think that Raw should go back to three hours. Um, but that is what it is. But before I end the stream, I just want to give a huge shout out to Samantha Irwin. Um, she announced that she's leaving WWE and all I can, all I can say it to Samantha is thank you for everything you've done for WWE. Um, you're an amazing WWE announcer and you always will be. Um, and all I can say is good luck to whatever you plan on doing in the future and WWE is um, going to miss you and there were talks saying that oh uh, Samantha's leaving to go to AEW with Ricochet um, but Ricochet tweeted out saying that that's not the case but whatever you do Samantha WWE will miss you um, in, in, my, in, in, in this case you're one of the best in my own opinion you're one of the greatest announcers um, I mean, you've been in WWE for, what, two to three years now, and you're amazing. So, good luck to Samantha, to whatever she's doing in the future. Um, and shout out to Lillian Garcia, who's gonna, who's once again back as a full-time announcer. So, great to see Garcia back. Um, Lillian Garcia, greatest announcer. I was a huge fan of her back in the day, but Lillian Garcia, welcome back. Um, but anyways, that would do it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't done so, check out my friend Canadian Yorker's YouTube channel. The link will be in the description of this video, as well as their WWE Wrestling Bros channel, um, which is a wrestling channel that me and Canadian Yorker made, so be sure to check that out. Um, but anyways, I will see you guys in the next broadcast. Like I said, me and Canadian Yorker has been busy lately, and we don't know when or when that uh, our next broadcast together will be, because he's literally busy and I'm kind of busy. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. My name is Bruin Steel. Thank you guys so much for watching this broadcast. Uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Take it easy, guys.